Hello, hello, it's Signision here, and today I'm going to teach you how to get more frames out of our favorite game, Star Citizen. So, first you gotta go to Steam, go to the store, and whenever it decides to load up, go to Lossless Scaling. There you go. It is $6.99. I already own it, so I can't purchase it. So you need to pay your $6.99. Look at all the reviews. Very positive. Uh, get that installed. And let's get it set up. Hi, Mega Man. So once you're here to the loss of scaling screen, you need to change your scaling type to LS1 out of all of these options. Turn your sharpness to how you want it to look frame generation to lsfg clip cursor keeps your cursor within the boundaries of your window and not going to another monitor or display that you have while you've got this running hdr support because i am using an hdr lg oled tv so you may not have this selected and i've got preferred gpu it's only set to auto that's the only option and make sure you select the monitor that you're using before you hop into Star Citizen though, and after setting up Lost of Scaling, you do need to go to your video card settings. So since I do own a 4090 NVIDIA card, I do need to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Go up to Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings. Star Citizen is already selected, but if you don't have it, click Add and look for it wherever you've got it on your system. Go down here to Max Frame Rate. Set it to your monitor's refresh rate. So for me, it's 120 frames per second. Hit OK, apply it, and you're done. So let's jump into the game. All right, so we've woken up in Lorville, which is a good place to test. The frames here are, um, I think a lot of players struggle here. So let's go head out to fly out of this city. In between now and taking off, I will put on loss of scaling so you could see the difference in frames. So I'm here in the Habs. Got a little friend with me here. I've got 32 frames per second, which you could see in the upper right corner. I wonder if they're uh they're gonna 4x their frames. All right, so this area shows, oh, as the wind pushes me back, this area shows a lot of the city. You're still inside, but you're here. And look at my frames going uh, high 20s to 30s. Show the character to give it a little more, a little more to render. But yeah, I'm on 120 hertz monitor and you can tell this is 30 to 34 frames a second so now if i hit the shortcut for loss of scaling which is Control alt s that should have worked Control alt s there in the upper left corner you will now see 120 frames a second which is four times more than the thirties and high twenties I was getting. So let's go test it out. So that's always a good way to know what you're getting. And video will tell you what natively you're getting. So see how it's going to the forties now. And in the upper left corner, you will see I dipped to like 115, 120. Let's see here. Good. So one good way to tell your frames are good is this train ride it is incredibly smooth. Next stop, Tisa Spaceport. There we go. Let's get to the Herson Dynamics side. There we go. So I'd be getting 30 frames a second roughly. But if you see in the upper left corner, it's 120. And it looks like it. Now arriving, Tisa Spaceport. 
Please watch your step when disembarking the train. But I'm just somebody on a train. Let's go hop in um, an 85X. And you'll be able to see what it's like to fly around a city. The true test. If you watch my streams, you know the 85X is one of my favorite ships ever since I first tried it in uh, VR. So let's go take that one out. It's always Hangar 9. It's a small ship. Gotta go way out here. As always, with your own eyes, take a look. Upper right corner for NVIDIA telling me the native FPS I am getting. And upper left corner for lossless scaling to tell you the frames that are being output. It's best to go to third person, so there's more to render. This so just looks good. And here's Lurville at 120 frames a second. Now, of course, the video is going to output to 60 frames a second, so you cannot see uh, the benefit of 120, but it should be running at the 460 and not the 25 <laughs> that Nvidia says I'm getting so unfortunately you're gonna have to see this for yourself but yeah this is Louisville running buttery buttery smooth I hope the recording is not adding these hitches because when I play and I'm not recording Things are pretty good. But, uh, tiny, tiny hitches here and there. Not even frame drops, just little hitches. It's not the program. It might just be because OBS is running as well. Yeah, now you can fly around Louisville and enjoy these tunnels. If you've got a ship small enough for it, you don't have to worry about the frames causing any unexpected deaths. But yeah, I am on a pretty, pretty beefy system. I've got a 5900X, a 4090 overclock, and um, 64 gigs of 3600 megahertz RAM. No overclock. And the game runs pretty smooth most of the time, but there are the infamous places that have frame hitches. Not anymore. To make my experience smoother, I will definitely use this. And to be honest, the quality looks exactly the same to my eye. It looks beautiful. So, if you've got a system that might need these extra frames to make the game playable, this might be the answer for you. If you struggle with a system that might not be able to hang with our favorite game out here, uh, why not uh, give Loss of Scaling a try? See what gets you. I'm not sponsored. I'm not the dev. I'm just a Star Citizen player that... Uh, Wants more frames out of the game until this does come in officially. So for $6.99, you do get to get smoother frames before the, uh, and I got, yeah, that's a good place to end it. <laughs> and I got kicked out, but yes, people are falling for the 4X frames. See you in the next video.